Uh, let me say uh, in the staff report, then let me turn that over. Uh, to the first one is a student success update. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah, so I've asked uh, Karen Lavin to do a presentation on Latino student success and programs that uh, we've initiated recently to support our Latino students. So uh, I will turn it over to Karen. Okay, great. Well, thank you for allowing me to present tonight. I appreciate that. Last month, Dr. Hogan had shared with you some data showing that our retention is increasing as a college. Um, and it even exceeded our expected targets. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Hogan had shared with you some data showing that our retention rate is increasing as a college and exceeded our expected targets. Tonight I'm sharing a Latino retention initiative that was designed to close the achievement gap, increase retention, and advance educational equity amongst our CLC Latino students. So this consisted of a caseload of about 130 students. They were students who were 2015 Lake County High School graduates. They started as first time students in the fall and they had applied for financial aid. In other words, they had filled out a FAFSA. The Latino caseload included both part-time and full-time students. So for measurement purposes, we're comparing the full-time, first-time students in this Latino caseload versus our first-time, full-time IPEDS cohort who are Latino. So the caseload versus our IPEDS cohort. So what did the services consist of? There were events consisting of targeted outreach to help students with their to-do list and their student portal. Other assistance, including advising, helping them with registration, applying for scholarships, better understanding financial aid, referring them to tutoring services, etc. We involved peer mentors, students helping students, very powerful. Parents were involved. There was a Latino parent orientation in both English and Spanish, so they could help better understand how they could help their students through uh, a, yeah, being a student at CLC. There were phone call reminders for registration and other updates, and there were monthly emails that provided students with financial aid deadlines, first year experience workshops such as time management, test taking skills, college activities that were happening amongst the college, student club meetings, and really encouraging student engagement. So here's the results of this program. And what it's showing is that the students receiving the services outperformed our IPEDS cohort in both term to term and equally about the same amount from year to year. So this is the retention. We also looked at their grades, the GPA. So overall, again, the students receiving the services outperformed the students who were not. Interestingly, the women did a little better, the men, um, the IPEX cohort did better, but it's not very significant. So we're looking into that and trying to help out a little bit of that, that piece of data. So what are our next steps? 2018 will be the three-year completion mark, so we're going to measure the completion of the students. We're going to investigate expansion of the pilots since we're showing a lot of success. And I wanted to thank Miguel Morales. Unfortunately, he couldn't be here tonight. He's on vacation with his family, but he was an integral part of this, as well as Rodolfo Rez Velasco. Any questions for Karen? Thank you, Karen.